Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a callout and track it in DaVinci Resolve and this is how the output will look. So let's get started. As you can see I've got a footage of a pizza in my timeline so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a callout over that pizza. For that you have to go to the effects tab, go to titles, drag in call out. I'll extend it to the full length of the clip. Then let's edit the callout, go to inspector, change the name delicious pizza change the font dm serif display then there are basic settings like the color of the font the size and all of that i hope you already know that then there's the position of text and the line position i hope you can see the line and if not let's change the color of the line just go to the color section make it white and there's the line so let's change the position x y and so this is fine this position is fine so the call out is almost ready one last thing is point corners if you zoom in as you can see the dot is in diamond shape so you can change it to fully circular or keep it to diamond and even rotate the diamond but for now i'm gonna go with fully circular looks cleaner so our call out is ready now if you want to keep the call out stable if it's not going to move in any sense then you can keep the call out in the edit section but as we are going to track the callout, we are going to have to do it in the fusion section. So let's delete this callout from here. We don't need this anymore. We'll just go to the fusion section. And here, if you go to the effects tab, then templates, edit and titles. As you can see, all the titles are available here too. So just drag in the callout again. Let's edit it again. As you can see, the callout is not visible why is that because we haven't patched it to the media in so just click the dot here and take it to media in and the callout is visible then let's again edit the positions of the callout and the color of the line just click it okay then we want it fully circular let's change the text position it was somewhere here right so let's keep it here this much is fine and the position of the dot and there we go our call out is ready now let's start with the track for that first of all click on media in because that's the footage we have to track the pizza right so just click on it then press shift spacebar and type in planar tracker as i have typed in already and simply press add and a planar tracker will get added now what you have to do is just hover over your clip click and create an area around the thing that you want to track so I'm going to track the pizza around the dot. So I have created a square and then just go here. The operation mode should remain track reference time. Just set it to this frame. What it does is that it tells the planar tracker that this is the frame from where you have to take the reference position of the pizza. So I've set it to this frame. Then we're going to change the motion type to translation rotation. And from this point on, we are going to start the tracking of the pizza. Let it take its time and it will start tracking that particular point of the pizza as you can see here. Now we have tracked the pizza from this point on right from the reference time. So just go back to the reference time click on go. It will bring it back to the reference time and we have to track it backwards because this part is not tracked right. So click on this button. And as you can see, we have tracked this part of the pizza in the whole clip. Now, all you have to do is click on create planar transform. Drag this call out up here. We'll bring in the planar transform in the middle. We'll unhook this. We'll bring in the planar transform. We'll hook the call out to the planar transform. And we'll hook the planar transform to the merge. And if we play it from the start now, the call out will get tracked with the pizza. Now, as we have played it for the first time, it will take some time to process the transform. But after that, it will play perfectly. As you can see, like I said, perfect. Now, if I pause it and go to the edit section, and if you play it from the start, the text is getting tracked with the pizza. So that's how you can track 
and create call outs in the winch resolve that's it for the video guys i hope you find the video useful and if you do make sure you like the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people also share this video with your friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel i post such how to tech videos tech reviews i stream games on the channel occasionally and i put some informative and knowledgeable youtube shots every week so that brings us to the end of the video guys thank you for watching the video i'll see you all next time bye bye